would you raise your right hand? Because you just always swear the testimony that you're about to give is here. You took the whole truth, not the whole truth, so I'll be there. I do. Please and spell it for us. Stephanie Sloman, S T P E H. Yeah, right. S T P E H A N I E S L O M A N. Um, I feel very badly that you guys didn't get a copy of this report. I feel badly that when I was at the planning board, obviously the planning board members didn't get a copy of this report. I know I have only two minutes. Let me just read a couple of things from this report. You have a report. You read it. On page 97 of Invenergy's application concerning low frequency octave bands, and I tell you what they are, and the fact that Barbell's ordinance is among the stringent we have seen in the United States, it states on that page, and I quote, this is particularly re relevant since low frequency emissions are generally more difficult to mitigate than our high frequency noise emissions. This statement in their application proves that it is indeed possible to mitigate the low octave, low frequency noise that Invenergy proposed power plant will produce. So if it's possible, then why give them the variance, is my point. Um, I talk about how badly low frequency noise is for people, and then I go into the negative effects on wildlife, farm animals, etc. Just wanted to read one section, <clears throat> and I'm going to you know, read right off here, so if I go too fast, let me know. Important. Okay. I want to admit that I emailed Mr. Hessel anonymously concerning combined cycle natural gas power plants and low frequency noise. I know, me bad. This is a quote from his email. For critical sites with nearby houses and or very low permissible noise limits, the plate thickness on this part of the HRSG is increased from a standard one quarter inch thickness to one half inch. And then in parentheses I have, I believe that Invenergy is already doing this to mitigate the DBA limit of Barbell's noise ordinance. He continued, however, when more of a reduction is required, an external shroud is often used, which consists of metal panels forming barrier walls on the sides, or a complete enclosure with a roof over the HRSG metal on the interior face, on, on, the, transi I'm sorry, on the transition duct. These panels are typically 20 gauge steel on the exterior, four inches of fiberglass insulation, and 24 gauge perforated metal on the interior face. The exterior sheet resists the penetration of noise to the outside and acoustically absorbent lining prevents noise from reflecting back and building up inside the nose enclosure. Prevents noise from? Prevents noise from reflecting back and building up inside the noise enclosure. Mr. Hessler continued, another source of moderate low frequency noise in a combined cycle plant are the fans in the cooling tower or cooling, which Invenergy doesn't have cooling towers, or air-cooled condensers, ACC, as the case may be. When needed, this is still quoted from my, the email, when needed, which is often, low noise fans are used instead of standard fans, which usually produce significant noise in the 125 to 250 hertz octave bands. Low noise fans typically rotate at a slower speed, which leads to much less noise. And these blades have a very wide width, a cord, that allows them to move more air at a slower speed. One more sentence. He continued, this very, the very quietest fans the Model SX made by Howden fans in the Netherlands are extremely wide to the point where there is almost no open area in the fan wheel. And basically, as you can see above, Mr. Hessel has relayed to me other ways that Invenergy has not including it in its noise mitigation, low frequency noise, and it is possible for Invenergy to reduce the low octave band levels in its proposed design. Mr. Chairman, may I ask a question? Did the uh, planning board have that letter from Mr. Hessler? I gave it to Mr. Hessler. He's here. He can verify it. I emailed him this report as an attachment. What he told me was that he had, and you can verify this, 
He emailed it to the attorney, and I did you say I can't remember if you told me that the chairperson of the planning board, um, and it was ignored. Can you give me the date of that letter, please? Um, I mail I emailed it to Ms. L Mr. Um, Kravitz on Sunday night on the 21st. No, Mr. Hess was not a peer. What's the date of that letter? Now, I could give you a guess. It was the week before. I can give give it to you if you want. I have a copy of it. I would say it was a Friday, so let's say 22nd, 20. I would say the 18th the 19th. Of what month? Of, of, of August. Because the planning board lists the dates of certain letters from Mr. Hessler, and I believe there were three dates from August. And Mr. Hessler wrote letters that are included in the planning board's opinion, which should also be attached to the planning board's opinion as an exhibit. So, so the emails that Mr. Hessler sent me, is that what you're saying? That was my question. Did, you, did that letter? Or did what, I, what I just, yeah, yes, I did. He, I emailed him anonymously because I knew if I said who I was, where I was from, he was just going to. You tell. You want to speak? Okay. Anyway, I sent him in a letter anonymously because I knew if I told him who I was, where I was from, he would just take his report that he submitted to the town council and he would just say exactly the same thing. However, I did more research on it, so I knew that there were ways that they could reduce, the power plants could reduce the low frequency noise, which is dangerous to human beings and wildlife. Farm animals, dairy cows can produce less milk, chickens will produce less eggs. I can go on. It's an 11 page report. I spent the whole week prior to that meeting on this. If I may get yes. to the point, according to the opinion from the planning board, the planning board lists numerous recommendations to the siting board, asking that the siting board adopt as conditions, in the event that they choose to grant the permit, right. as conditions, the recommendations made by Mr. Hessler, and then it lists Mr. Hessler's recommendations contained in the letters, and I'm going to give you the dates of those letters, and maybe they coincide with what you're reading. The letters and memoranda dated May 26, July 12, August 8, August 10, August 16, and August 22nd. So, if what you're referring to is already in there, then it's good I, to I don't have a copy of it with me. No. But, I mean, I have... Your, your, your email... I you have, have it at home. It's, it, and I save everything. Well, would you just read for us? Is that a copy of the email? That, that is excerpts. I didn't want to put the whole email in here. I did think about attaching it, but... Well, I, I don't know whether or not the planning board has that or not, so I, I well, can't come. Well, yeah, I do know that Mr. You know, Mr. Kravitz had it, and I believe that he told me that he had given it to the um, to Mr. McElroy, the attorney, and Mr. Hessler. And I don't know, so... You can send me to you. Can you your well, I have a, um, a BS in biology and a uh, minor in chemistry, and I'm a retired environmental engineer. So they, you know, I mean, I, you know, I'm not an expert in noise, but you don't have to be because you have the internet. You can learn from, you know, not only other noise experts. I mean, I was in, I was back and forth with noise solutions in Canada. And I explained everything that I knew about the plant, and they were willing to say, "Hey, we can do it. We can take care of this. This is a problem, and we can take care of it." So I have that whole con email conversation with them. So they can do it. So this is my point. If they can do it, it's possible. Even if they have to go to the Netherlands to get the damn fans, why should we? allow them the variance for the little oxygen. They admit it 
in, on page 27 of the application, the original application. They admit it. Because, you know, maybe it'll cost a little money. Come on, this, this is a multi-million dollar corporation. They can afford it. And we poor slobs are over here fighting amongst ourselves. And this is part of their game plan. That's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I ask our and he kindly agreed our town planner to possibly address this. Could you raise your right hand, please, sir? So I'll just wait for the testimony that you were about to give us there the truth. The whole truth is nothing but the truth. I do. Raise your name, please, for us. Thomas Kravitz. Uh, the only clarification I can provide is that the planning board did not, in fact, see um, that, that report uh, that was prepared uh, by Ms. Sloman. But I did, as soon as I got it, I forwarded it right away to McElroy and Hessler to confirm as to what, you know, what the findings are that if there. Just, I asked Hessler to give us some feedback. This was happening by email because it's very close to the planning board's meeting. And Hessler, Hessler uh, when he saw who it was from Ms. Sloman, he, he fell back on his position without getting into the specifics of the facility that she was describing. He fell back on the position that the low active bands, and this is on page 19 in the advisory opinion of the planning board, is that uh, the crack won't substantially change or increase the low frequency sound levels in any meaningful way. That means that any potential impact on wildlife from low frequency noise, if there is one, is already present from the existing spectra of turbines. So his position has always been that he said that the facility will not add to what Spectre is already already doing. So that, that's what the planning board has. The last paragraph on this page 19 in the section says, accordingly, it is our opinion, that is the opinion of the planning board, that the correct facility will be able to comply with our noise ordinance, provided the zoning board a review grants of energy, a waiver slash special use permit, exempting the correct from the octaband limits in the ordinance. So they really did kind of throw it on you guys and you guys. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that too. Um, 